Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at your best trailer wiring options for your 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Now we're going to have four different options as far as trailer wiring goes, and so we're going to kind of break it down in two different categories. Right here we're going to have the Kurt wiring, and this will be a seven-way style connector. Right here we're going to have Takancha wiring, again with a seven-way style connector. Then these two are both going to be four pole flat connectors. We're going to have the Takancha as well as the Kurt. Now right off the bat, if I had to pick wiring for my own Ridgeline, whether it be a four pole style connector or a seven way style connector, if I had to choose one, I would probably go with the Takancha for both the four as well as the seven for a few different reasons. So let's go ahead and compare all of our wiring now so you can see the differences. So we'll go ahead and start with our seven ways. Now the biggest difference that I found has to do with the quality of construction. If you kind of grab our Takancha wiring at the plug here and grab our Kurt wiring at the plug and kind of hold the two together, you'll notice that the wiring on the Takancha is much thicker. And in my opinion, that just makes it a little more reliable and should last a little bit longer without having to worry about it getting too beat up. Now one thing I do like about the Kurt kit is the fact that they give you a bracket to mount your seven way plug to. It just makes it really convenient that the bracket comes included with the kit, but keep in mind there are many different types of brackets available here at eTrailer.com if you need one to secure your seven way plug. Now as far as the four way connectors go, all that information that we talked about with the seven ways more or less carries over to these style connectors as well. If you just grab the Takancha wiring and feel it in your hands, it just feels a little bit better and a little more well built than the Kurt. Even down to the dust cap, really thick, one piece. You don't have to worry about it falling off or anything like that. The Kurt one just feels a little more flimsy. But one thing I do like about the Kurt is that the wiring coming off of our four pole is going to have some wire loom pre-attached. So that'll help keep it protected and kind of give it a factory look as opposed to the Takancha, which is just the plain wires. Now keep in mind, you can just pick some wire loom up if you want to put some over this and go for that different look. But with that being said, everything is going to be included as far as the installation goes and what you need to get that job done. Now another difference I found is in regards to the power output. Both of the Takancha kits are going to have a power output of 4.2 amps per circuit for your stop and turn signals and 7.5 amps per circuit for your taillights. Both of the Kurt kits, the seven way as well as the four, they're going to have three amps per circuit for your stop and turn and six amps per circuit for your taillights. So more or less what that means is any one of these kits is gonna have no problem powering up traditional style incandescent bulbs and no problem at all working with those newer style LED bulbs. Now all the kits are going to be installed relatively the same. Behind your back seat, there's going to be a factory plug. And so what you're gonna do is take the module boxes from whichever kit you're using and plug those into that factory plug. The Contra just plugs in and you're done. The Kurt, more or less the same thing, you'd plug it in. However, there's a ground you would have to secure and a fuse. But other than that, once you have these plugged in, you'll come to the back of your ridgeline. Again, another factory plug, where you just plug in your trailer wiring, run it to your trailer hitch or wherever you're going to mount your seven or four way. And then there will be a couple of included fuses that you'll just have to put into your fuse box. And once you have all that done, your trailer wiring is good to go. You're not going to have to worry about splicing into anything or nothing too out of the ordinary. But overall, whichever kit you choose is going to get the job done and provide your trailer with the necessary lighting functions to remain safe and legal. And that'll finish up our look at of your best trailer wiring options for your Honda Ridgeline. I hope you find this information useful and it helps you decide which wiring to get for your ridgeline. 